There's a reason why there's a long list of credits at the end of a film devoted to the sound crew. Sound is absolutely vital to maintaining an audience's attention. And no audience and no customer is going to struggle to understand what you're saying. So we want to aim for sound quality that is crisp, clear, and close, as if you are seated across from each other in a quiet environment. Now, most laptop microphones are insufficient in this area. And a lot of external webcams are as well, just because they're not close enough to your mouth, typically. So I recommend a external USB microphone. And it's simply plug and play. There's a lot of great brands out there. I have a Blue Yeti. And it gives you the flexibility to position it where you need to so that you can get the best quality sound out of it. Let's talk about distance from your mouth to the microphone. Many experts suggest about three or four fingers between you and the microphone. That's pretty tight, and you're not filming a cinematic masterpiece, I assume, so you have a little more flexibility. You'll have to play around with your microphone to see where that ideal spot is that still gives you a little room to move and, and keeps it out of frame if possible. Now, if you are struggling with sizzling S's or popping consonants, you may need a pop filter, which is simply a screen that goes on top of your microphone. If you share an office space or work in a very noisy environment, you may need to use a headset. Now, I recommend choosing something that's more low profile or in-ear just because headsets tend to work against that in-person experience we're trying to create. 